everybody, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and in this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to get your sketch file into After Effects. Okay, so you may be wondering, why is this the best way, or why would I want to go from Sketch to After Effects? So I've actually created two other videos on this topic going over years. So the first one I created from Sketch to After Effects was like this crazy, insane workflow, but it worked where you export your PDF, you export your Sketch file as a PDF, bring that into Illustrator, break that out into layers, and bring that into After Effects. It sucked, but it totally worked, helped a lot of people out. That's cool. About a year and a half ago, Google released Sketch to AE which was like a game changer because then you could just export your thing from Sketch and then bring it into After Effects and you were just 100% stoked. Well, lately, if you go onto the, um, the Sketch website, check it out here, you'll see that it says Sketch to is fully broken in Sketch 52. There have been many glitches along the way, blah, 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 blah. And people have been writing me and being like, dude, uh, can like, what's the deal? So I am looking into this and what I found is that these guys or a person or whatever, they're actually making a next generation thing. So it's, if, if you click the beta link here where it says download beta, you'll go to a different page and that's the AE UX page. So check this out. I'm just going to show you this in uh, like After Effects. So I very, very, very quickly, just in a couple seconds, quickly mocked up this little interaction here with like a number counter and this whole thing using this AE UX thing. It's crazy amazing. I'm gonna show you how to use it, how awesome it is, and then how to install it and get it working on your computer. I would just use this. Like if things aren't working, do this. It's awesome. There's a lot of great features that I love. I don't get paid anything by these guys. I'm just super, super stoked and I just had to share this with you. So here's essentially how it works. So if you're in Sketch, so I'll first show you how it works, like the workflow, and then I'll show you how to install it um, because I don't want to show you how to install something that you may decide you don't really want. So here, here's how it works. So if you're in Sketch, and I'm not a Sketch user, but I'm just kind of like showing you how it works. So if I'm in Sketch, say, and it, this is just a default material design document that loads with Sketch, I have to select my artboard, and you can see the bounding box there. Cool, fair enough. Once I have my artboard selected, I have two options here, two options. I can do selection to AE or export After Effects UX.json file. I'm just going to delete everything in After Effects just to show you so it's really clean here. Okay, so let's show you the first one. So the first one is selection to AE. You also have these other options like detach symbols, flatten shapes, uh, like images to uh, symbols, really cool stuff. Let's do selection to AE. You get this thing that says, okay, 12 layers pushed over to uh, like AE. You're like, okay, what's that? And now you have a palette in AE where it's like, hey, these layers are waiting for you. You can add these to a, a create a new comp or add these to a current comp. Let's make a new comp and I'm just going to click the thing and it's just going to churn. And look at that. I've got my composition settings, which perfectly match my uh, document canvas size in Sketch. All of these are now broken out. The um, the type is actual type, the shapes are actual shapes, like the whole thing is just insanely awesome. And they've rigged it up um, as they have in the past with Sketch to AE with like control layers. So I can actually like, you know, move, have a master layer that controls things. It's just super, super clean. Let me show you now the export JSON option. So I'll click this instead and it'll ask me, what do you want to call it? I'll call it like test, put it on my desktop. Cool, I go back to After Effects. And I'm gonna use this little uh, paperclip option here. So I'm gonna click that and just select this. And it makes this. And you'll see that what it does is it makes it its own composition over here. It may bring in some pre-compositions if things are um, you know, like nested or something in Sketch, it does that. It just builds it out really, really fast. There's some uh, like other options here that I haven't even played around with because it's like, who cares? These first two options are insane. I mean, there's probably some like settings here, whatever, but like really, this is just like, boom, it's fast and you're in After Effects with clean files, which is what's great. You can do, you know, you can uh, like edit the text and the shapes, everything's just ready to go. So I had to show you that. Okay, so how, how do you install this thing? Let me show you that real quick. So if we go back here, and again, you'd find it by Googling Sketch to AE and I'll include the link in the thing because I'm cool like that. And uh, so it takes you here. AEUX, download, heck yes. Okay, so that comes down. 
this is what you get. You've got your downloads folder. I've already, already downloaded this a bunch of times. Okay, so you basically get two things. You get this aeux.sketch plugin. So if you just double click that, it'll just install it right in Sketch. So I did that and it will give you this uh, like error if it's previously installed and it'll say, sorry, it's already there. And you're like, cool, no problem. But how you find it is you just go to plugins, aeux, and it even has its own keyboard shortcut, which I love. Pop it open here and then it's just floating. It's just chilling around for you to use anytime. You're stoked. Then in After Effects, what you have to do is you have to get this ZXP thing, which is an Adobe compressed format thing, you basically have to download the installer. So you have to Google ZXP installer and it just goes to the thing. You download this for your platform, and I already did that, but you, I'll just show you because it might make you happy. So, okay, woo, it's going down. I have that. Now it puts it in a folder on your desktop, and then you can add this to your you know, applications or whatever. I already have that going. And so I can just open that. And so when I open that, this is what it looks like. It just pops open here. It's just this blank thing. So you're like, okay, what's up with that? Now I can go back to my downloads here and grab this ZXP. And then I just drag it into here. And then it says you were about to stall. Install, you're like, okay, sweet. I've already installed it, but you would just hit the check mark. I don't think I'd have to show you that. Hopefully you won't give me like a thumbs down. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So then in... After Effects, I have it docked here, but if I undock it and then I close it out, essentially how you would access it is you go to uh, Window, Extensions, AEUX, it's just there. It comes open in a undocked state, then you can just click the name and just drag it to where you want in the dock, and then you're just stoked, and then you're cruising. So anyway, I just had to show you that. I think it's like an amazing, amazing tool for you to use. Um, I hope you got some value. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to get more of these UI animation with After Effects uh, tutorials and resources. I'll be sending those to you. And also, um, you can sign up for, for my newsletter that goes out uh, about once a week or so when I send like free tutorials and resources that relate to After Effects and UI uh, like animation. So thanks so much for wa watching and uh, drop me a comment if you have any questions or thoughts. And I will see you in the next tutorial.